Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your daily tarot reading <clears throat> for April 26, 2018. Four card spread, the first card is showing up the day itself and this is going to be in our case the tower card. The second card shows up what we should not do during that day and this is going to be the Queen of Swords. The third card just represents what we should do during the day and that will be the Page of Pentacles. And the last one shows up in the long run what will be the result in case we keep these conditions that will be the King of Pentacles. So, um, first things that really makes impression at least into me is how uh, based on what we do that day from a page we can become a, a king. So uh, even though the tower card comes up as a, a main card for the day it is not really that um, it is not a day of a turmoil as uh, most of you may have thought about uh, may have thought about yes um, <clears throat> once you have saw that the uh, tower card comes up first now the tower card guys shows up the joy that day we may uh, kind of like experience some uh, unpleasant unpleasant events you know and um, <clears throat> these couple of cards here showing what we should not do and what we should do shows our our um, <clears throat> our drive to manage the situation, or rather, our drive to um, control the crisis, if it is a crisis in any cases, because the Tower card not not always is in those extreme interpretations, like law, the job lost, you know, like break up into one relationship, like ruin, etc., etc. Uh, what I do think here in the, in that particular day is that the worst case scenario with the Tower card for the most of us is going to be that we may become a victim of a certain circumstance that are outside our capability to influence more or less and that's why we do have the Queen of Swords here as a card expressing what we should not do because the Queen of Swords is a, as a, a property of a person is a person determined to do what it is necessary in order to push things through while the page um, that expresses what we should do is knowing exactly where the value lies. So the page does recognize when one thing is worth it and one thing isn't worth it as well. And instead of wasting <clears throat> energy, efforts, money, resources, etc., etc., into trying to uh, manage crisis, the page finds a, a different enterprise or perspective where it can be much more, if you want to say, lucrative or productive etc etc now uh, <clears throat> as I said the interpretation of the tower card it could go to extreme you know because in that particular day April 26 there will be people who will lose their job you know there will be people who is going to break up into their relationships uh, as well uh, among the entire world but the tower card it is always have that cleansing and recuperating effect on our lives right because I, I want to explain you here a little bit of the symbols of the tower card now we do have uh, in the flames the divine word yod this is the divine word and uh, it does represent the divine interference into that day which means that it is these are unavoidable events actually that are going to happen they are meant for all of us you know during that day uh, so we can actually reconsider and rethink some noxious habits that we do have or some wrong paths that we have taken so far and um, it is why it's happening here you know these pleasant circum these unpleasant circumstances excuse me so we can actually look around ourselves and um, and, and truly see the big picture here 
The tower card is uh, is one of the cards showing that our life needs restructuring and this day April 26th may be the very well the day where we actually place the new foundations upon our new life we could embar embark you know and become the king of pentacles at the end which is obviously a very lucrative man which is uh, obviously someone who has an, an estate as well <clears throat> and someone who is surrounded with comfort but how we are gonna get there it is exactly what I said don't try guys to uh, manage the crisis on um, on all costs of course some of you will be able to do so but not on all costs they in case people uh, are able to manage their crisis is going to be through a, a very well considered and very well invested efforts and time without actually over um, <clears throat> not overestimate but overdo overkill the situation if I may say that way so uh, <clears throat> it is very important as well when we talk about relationships here now in this day we may end we may enter in a fights with our beloved ones you know we may be unpleasantly surprised by our beloved one or find unpleasant a circumstance into our relationship or in case you know you are after somebody in a sense of uh, being interested in being in a relationship with that person you may find out with the tower card you may find out something unpleasant for a person you know something for example from their past or you may find a habit that they do have that you don't really like and you can't make a compromise with etc etc at least at this particular um, a stage of um, <clears throat> of building up the relationship so what the, the queen here says is that uh, if you go for the queen guys for the things you don't need to do is to actually um, draw from your poignant past experience and uh, reanalyze the situation that being said we draw yourself from the situation entirely while the page here says that you need to dig up re uh, really deeply into it and find value in the in the relationship or in the person that you are with because realizing that not ev not everything is perfect uh, as a matter of fact <clears throat> it is never everything perfect because perfection is is for the gods if we if you understand it that way and we humans we we do mistakes basically we are imperfect by a long by a long shot here that's why it is very important here during that day guys whenever unpleasant thing is happening in your life instead of being prone to the poignant events here be prone to actually uh, what is in there for you and how you can traverse it into something positive the very least the positive traversion here is going to be that you get the chance to re build that sphere of your life where the unpleasant circumstances happens now those unpleasant circumstances as the tower card is a very broad card it could be something very significant for some of us or it could be something very negligible for all of us it does depend in which in which kind of um, <clears throat> field you know of your life falls because let me just give you an example uh, let's say that in fo folds, uh, falls in a field where uh, it is a, a connection you know it, it regards the communication in between you and a person that you don't really care about that much and even if you get in a fight with that person well a big deal you know but it could relate to a very important project in your job where you're gonna find those unpleasant circumstances as well it could relate to a a important event into your relationship or into your private life regardless of what it is guys as I said <clears throat> here be uh, do not rush it uh, to kind of like uh, manage the crisis at, at all costs but instead of try out to analyze and to scope uh, exactly how much is gonna pay off if you do so and if it doesn't gonna pay off you know uh, where El, uh, where elsewhere you can actually uh, be more productive and more lucrative so it's all about here uh, <clears throat> restructuring certain field in our life during that day guys and as I said for some it's gonna be a big deal for others it's not gonna be that big deal but at the end if you do find your value here with the page of pentacles which by the way for relationship is about finding emotions that you can hang on to alright so in case you're going through a, a fight with your partner here into one relationship 
this is exactly what you need to hang on. Do you still have emotions toward them that it really worth furthering, uh, furthering forward into the future or hanging tight to, you know? Or are those emotions too milder uh, against what your partner is doing at this very moment? And can you make a compromise? Because the queen doesn't make compromise, but the page does, all right? And so at the end, if you keep all these conditions here, then you reach the King of Pentacles somewhere in the future where you have already stabilized yourself, you have built up, if you want to say, your new empire around that situation. So you have rebuilt your relationship even stronger, you have rebuilt your career even stronger. And this is all thanks to recognizing that wasting... <clears throat> time effort and being frantic about managing the crisis is not going to help you out guys but uh, it is better to be slow and meticulous and pushy rather than being as i said frantic you know um dramatic and all over the place so the bottom line of uh, of today's reading guys is that unpleasant things happen all all around the all around the world and all with with all of us but it is important to be calm it is important to be very aware of uh, of what we find substantial for our lives you know and it is very important to never give up because the only way that the tower card in the long run turns out uh, very negative is if you give up from um, <clears throat> from what you have built you know and what your aims are because the tower card is not uh, ending it's a transformation you can still get what you are after just it's not going to be the way you are imagining it right now it will transform but at the end it's going to be similar if not better to what you are after that could be a, again family stable relationship good career etc etc you just don't have you you just don't give up from what you are after guys so uh that was your tarot reading for april 26 2018 I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!